Time for our first question in the mailbag in our Ask David segment, where you can submit questions to us each and every week via email, davidstarpodcast at gmail.com, facebook.com slash starpodcast, and on Twitter at starpodcast. Question from Gabe the Babe wants to know, you hear of people getting excited this week leading up to homecoming and festivities around it. Is the Texas race in the fall sort of like homecoming for you or giving you homecoming vibes, David? Well, you know, it, it, it is, you know, it's like a homecoming, you know what I mean? But it's you're the homecoming king, David. Yeah, but man, it's just business as <laughs> usual. You know what I mean? It's, it's exciting. You know, I, my mom and dad come to the race, you know, my sister and, my boys get to be there and my wife and, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of people that have gotten me, uh, and had helped me from a sponsor standpoint or let me drive their race car. It's always cool to race at home. Uh, man, you know, you hear Kurt and Kyle Bush, they want to win the Las Vegas race. Me and Brendan gone used to talk about this all the time. You know, you don't want to win at home. It's something special. It's exciting. And, I've gotten close over the years, uh, but never really gotten that job accomplished, gotten, gotten the job done. And, uh, but man, I, I don't know. I, I love coming here to Texas Motor Speedway and racing. Uh, just, you know, you got a lot more family there, more friends, more people that have, uh, that are, uh, that have given you the money to, to, to be where you're at. Uh, but man, it's just it's cool. You know, we've got a lot of Texas connections and a lot of Texas companies that make it possible for me to race today. Uh, but man, it's it's just cool. It's exciting. And uh and uh, you know, if you want to call it a homecoming, you can, but I but I, I don't know. I just love it. You know, you guys are gonna be there, my my podcast team. It's it's just cool, man. It's it's a it's a good vibe, it's fun. I love racing at Texas, but man, I love racing at Martinsville. I just love racing everywhere, you know what I mean? And, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed more than I deserve. And uh, being able to race at Texas Motor Speedway as long as I have, man, I'm, I'm, I'm honored and humbled by it, you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Dom, uh, you know, for, for me, you know, Texas does feel like home, of, you know, just being down the road from where I live now. But uh, that's the first tra- racetrack I ever went to for a cup race at Texas Motor Speedway. I've been to Kansas more than anything else. That I, I feel like is my home track because that's where, you know, I, I was going to school up there, going to about every race there. But, uh, I mean, Dom, we, we've had a lot of fun at Texas Motor Speedway over the years. We have. I, I'd say one of the best weekends I've ever had at the racetrack was the All-Star Race last year, getting to do that yeah. with you and Chris Salazar and just the fun that we got to have. We got to go go-karting. A lot of fun stuff away from the track. And a lot of the stuff, the track, don't get me wrong, is a lot of fun. But it's the people that you get to be around. Like David said, you get to have your family there. And, and I think when you have the people that you really enjoy being around, that just really enhances the entire experience. Yeah. Yeah, it does. 